And uh, Allie Carta is ready, and the first pitch of the game is underway, and it's in there for a called strike one. We are underway at 7.59 Eastern time. About 59 minutes behind schedule because we had a lengthy lightning delay in game number two. The pitch is high for ball one. 9 a.m. in Japan. I'm glad you did that. See, <laughs> see, math is not my strong suit. That's why I have this job. But good morning to you watching in Japan. The Doubling in plus one is about all I can do. <laughs> no, don't, 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 don't. I can't toot my own horn too much. 1-1 one, one is fouled away, 1-2. and two. So enjoy your breakfast. Well, we've gone through the day with only breakfast so far, I guess, right? We've been slaving away here. Been fun day. A couple of entertaining games before this one. The pitch is high. It's 2-2. Two and Back-to-back-to-back two. Back to back games and a great Opportunity, you know, for the spectators to come and just watch a ton of good softball here this afternoon. Enjoy your Independence Day holiday. Allie's ready for the 2-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck her out. Good way to start this game. So one down. Going to bring up the second baseman, Yuka Ichiguchi. Well, righty on lefty matchup here for the pitcher and just gets her to chase outside. Ichi Kuchi, the second baseman in the nightcap here. Pitches in the dirt. One and oh. She came on late in the game against Australia. <laughs> Allie Carta now will step off of the pitcher's plate. Had a little trouble getting together there. Batter asked for time and it was granted as well. The pitch tried to check her swing and fouled it off. Count is even at one and one. Not a, <clears throat> not a bit of breeze at the moment here in Georgia. It's 85 degrees with a feel like temperature of 94 still. Temperate. All speed misses, two and one. Close. The two one pitch just missed. Three and one. Allie ready with the three one delivery. And that missed outside for ball four. So a one-out walk here in the first. Got that 3-1 count. <clears throat> Here's Nodoka Harada, the center fielder. Harada was the designated player in the first game for Japan today. Hits from the right side. The pitch is off of the glove of Hansen and going down the second on the pass ball is Iki, Ichiguchi. Oh, just bouncing away from her and good heads up base running by Ichiguchi in scoring position now. Pitches in there for a strike to Harada. She was hitless in the opening game. She did walk and score a run. Runner at second, one down, 1-1 one, one pitch, swing and a miss. 
One ball, two strikes. And now Kenzie Hansen and Ali Carta will talk it over. Kenzie, fresh off of another national championship with Oklahoma. Ho-hum, right? Yeah, another, like you said. What a machine the Sooners were this season. The one-two ground ball fielded at third by Eccles. Throws the first and got her, held the runner at second. Good play by Charla. Good 5-3 there, just some good fundamental softball. Take that high bouncer, good job there by the local product. Look that runner back to the bag. And uh, Yamato Fujita. Ask for time and it's granted. Might have had a little something in right. Might have been a little South Georgia gnat. We are below the gnat line. <laughs> Buzzing around there. Pitches outside. 1-0. Oh. We're, we're fortunate here in Columbus. We Although technically we are, we, we really don't have a lot, thankfully. You hit uh, a county south of here or so, and it's like Fourth of July parade of gnats. The 1-0 pitch on the inside corner for a called strike. Alley rocks and fires. That just misses inside, and it's 2-1. World game in games in Birmingham will get underway at the end of this week. Swing and a miss. Chased one that was way up and out of the strike zone. Two and two. Two balls, two strikes, two outs, runner at second, and the pitch, swing and a miss, struck her out. So a couple of strikeouts. Flied out to the fence. Miwa is ready, and the pitch is in there for a called strike. U.S. clobbered the ball in its first game of the afternoon. Even the balls that didn't get out of the park, the long fly balls hit really hard. Pitch is fouled away on the third base side. Haley in the hole, 0-2. Oh O2 pitch on the way. There's a sharp hit ground ball to third off of the glove of Kawabata, and McClenney reaches. It's going to be a tough play there at third for Kawabata. So Haley reaches on the single. Here's Amanda. Lorenz, what a first game she had, Caleb. Boy, what a game she did have. Just an unbelievable day. Solo home run, RBI single, walked and scored. Pitches in there for a strike. And the former Florida Gator showing you how good she is. It was certainly a tough out during her days down in the swamp. Pitch misses high, one and one. I think it's interesting watching the Japanese catchers. They have, they all have a, a lot of movement late. 
So she'll jump outside there, and the pitch is fouled away. Lorenz just swatting away at that one. A ball and two strikes. So Amanda in the hole here, one and two. McClenney at first, nobody out, bottom of the first. Japan failed to score in the top of the inning. The one-two pitch inside, two and two. Amanda digs back in there from the left side. The 2-2 hit in the air in the gap in left center. Nobody's going to get that ball. It's up against the fence. McClenney will be held at third. And Amanda Lorenz is in at second with a double, and the U.S. is in business. Late stop sign there by Tim Walton at third, and for good reason. This one really well hit, finds the wall turning around and then having to jump back on the bag and a good safe call there just to keep everybody on the base paths. It's early, no sense in pushing the issue. Got runners at second and third, no one out. And now Hannah flipping up. She had two doubles and a run driven in in the first game. So Team USA in business here, second and third. Nobody out in the bottom of the first. Miwa. Rocks and fires off speed misses. One and oh. Hannah checks the sign. And the one oh pitch that missed outside. Two and oh. Sakura Miwa, the pitch, just missed the outside corner, so it's 3-0. and oh. You turn her loose here? I would. I mean, you're going to more than likely take, but, you know, if you're going to take, why don't you swing and see what you get it? The 3-0 pitch. Takes a strike on the outside corner. All right, Hannah's still in the driver's seat here now. She could be selective. Look for a pitch she can drive somewhere. The 3-1 on the way. High and tight. Good at bat. Ball four. Loads the bases with nobody out. Now you get your cleanup hitter here, Charla Eccles. Coming in at the hands. And now Eccles, the local product, grew up just an hour away. Charlotte had a couple of walks in the earlier game against Australia, looking for her first hit. This would be a great time for it. Bases are loaded and nobody out. Bottom of the first, nothing, nothing at the moment. First pitch is in there for a called strike. Charla thought about pulling the trigger, but didn't do it. The 0-1 pitch. That misses outside. 1-1. One one. Big moment early in this game. The Eagles with the bases loaded and nobody out. The 1-1 pitch. That's a little high, two and one. Miwa takes a deep breath, ready to go again. The two one on the way, fly ball, center field, center fielder back, median depth. They'll throw to third and the run will score. 
Sacrifice fly RBI for Sharla Eccles. Haley McClenney scores, and the USA leads it one to nothing. Productive out there and a productive at bat for Eccles as Charlotte able to just get something in play, send it to the outfield, enough distance that McClenney can tack up a third and come in to score. And U.S. with an early one nothing lead. Here's the catcher, Kinsey Hansen. She did not play in the opening game. For the U.S. And that pitch misses outside, 1-0. and oh. Miwa ready. First and second now, one down. The pitch. That misses inside. Tough to make a living falling behind these USA batters. Yeah, they can make you pay. Even if it's on a sacrifice, they will make you pay and at least get a run out of it and still in business here. 2-0 is line foul down the right field line. 2-1. and one. Deja Mullipola is on deck. She was the catcher in the first game for the U.S. today. She's the designated player tonight. And that pitch is inside. So it's three and one. The 3-1 pitch on the way. Ground ball to third. Goes to second for one on the first. Not in time. Good hustle to beat the wrap and keep the inning alive. And good defense there by Japan. Get a look at that one. There. Just a ground ball fielded cleanly, and that could have been a really tough play. Got it out of the glove in time to get the one. Just not enough time to get the two. So corners here with two away, and the U.S. still in business. And uh, Deja Milipolo. She had a single and a walk, an RBI single in the game against Australia. First pitch is on the inside corner for a called strike. We talked about this earlier in the day, but the ball really gets on you quickly here, these infielders. Yeah, I mean, this thing bounces, uh, red clay, very tight, very packed. U.S. certainly aware of that, going to play to that strength and try to just put something in play. And if you're not used to that, uh, you know, it gets on you quick and you got to be able to get the ball out of the glove. And a nice job by Japan there on that previous ground ball at third. It's, it's there in a hurry. Yeah, Kawabata made a nice play. Deja way out in front of that one to foul it away. So she's in the hole at 0-2. And, and the next pitch just misses outside, 1-2. and two. Need a big out, big two out happening to hang a crooked number on the board. It would be a moral victory for Japan to get out of this with just the one run. The one two off speed called strike three. So uh, Nakagawa will be up third in this inning. She's down in the hole. The pitch is in there for a called strike to Kawabata. Next pitch. Misses outside, one and one. Kawabata had a great game against Australia. Home run, two singles, another run driven in, a walk. Pitch misses. Two and one. Ground ball 
to first. Taylor Pleasance Fields runs to the bag and steps on it for out number one. Through you there. Good defense by Team USA. Scoop it up, get on the bag. Could get out, get the inning going the right way. Minori Naito. Couple of walks in the first game for Japan today. Pitch misses. One and one. Carter ready, and the pitch is a strike, one and two. We want to thank the interpreter for the Team Japan, Miyako Jimbo. Delightful person. Lots of personality. Yeah. And uh, she put up with us trying to get the <laughs> pronunciations right. <laughs> Does a great job for this team, Japan. Pitches high. Much more than just the interpreter. She handles a lot of things for them. Three-one pitch. On the inside corner for a called strike. Heck of a job. Gets to travel the world, talk with folks. Yeah. The 3-2 pitch, that missed outside for ball four, so a one-out walk. I forgot I was going to ask her what she could translate y'all into <laughs> Japanese. A uniquely American and uniquely Southern at that. Here's Ayana Nakagawa, right fielder. One nothing U.S. Top of the second, Japan with a runner at first and one down. Blistering pitch on the outside corner for a called strike. It just popped up foul territory. Will it stay in play? What a play by the catcher, Kenzie Hansen. Man. My goodness. Slamming into the fence and made it. She did a really good job. Heads up, just getting on top of that thing, finding it quickly, racing over, and just knowing how much space she had to stick that arm out and immediately get it back in. Great job. So two down here, and the first pitch to Kilishi, the catcher, is in there for a called strike. Yume Kilishi, she had a walk in the opening game. She pops this one up. Janae Jefferson under it, calling for it, and she's got it. So the one-out walk is stranded. Uh, it can be dangerous to get a good fly ball and have a hard time tracking it. So Here's Taylor Pleasance to lead it off. First pitch swinging, fouled over toward her dugout. Taylor homered in the, the game against Australia. One for three. Pitch misses. One and one. Part of the big renovation in 2019 to host the International Cup was improved lighting. It's LED lighting here at the stadium. No more days of uh, turning them on and waiting for them to get hot and come on. Those were the days. <laughs> <laughs> 2-1 and 
two one is a little inside and it's three and one. Sakura Miwa did her Houdini act in the first inning. Bases loaded, nobody out, gave up just one run. And hit her on the three one pitch. Take that and lead off. Runner aboard however you can get it here, and that one a tough one. Taking that one into the back of Pleasant. Here's Michelle Moultrie. She also homered. She and Pleasance went back to back on consecutive pitches, and she doubled as well in the first game. Another Florida Gator. Shows bunt. Good one. Out in front. Third baseman fields. Throws the first and got her. Great sacrifice bunt for Michelle Moultrie. Really good job there. You take a look back at that one. Just perfect form and execution there. Squaring that thing down. It drops in front of the catcher. And good speed there to try to leg that thing out. Put some pressure on the defense. But we've seen the U.S. Do a couple of really nice textbook bunts here today that have worked out really well. Here's the number nine hitter, Janae Jefferson. She was one for three in the opening game, so a runner in scoring position. And that pitch misses outside, 1-0. and oh. The 1-0 pitch is in there for a called strike, and it's 1-1. One and one. Only the second four-time All-American at the University of Texas. Cat Osterbun, the other. That pitch misses. Pretty elite company. Man. 2-1. A 2 1 pitch on the way in there for a called strike. 2 and 2. It was a fun matchup in the College World Series. Oklahoma and Texas, two old rivals going at it for the national championship. And of course, it came down to almost being a Oklahoma Oklahoma State matchup. Line drive right back to the mound. Got the runner caught. Throw to third and out. That was a tough break there. Tough, tough break there. Not much you can do about that. Just hit right on the line to the defender. You got already off the bag there, and you're just in no man's land. And just a tough play there. Nothing much you can do. So back to the top of the order. And Haley McClenny with a runner at first now. Haley singled and scored the game's only run. Pitch misses, 1-0. and oh. The 1-0 -oh pitch. That's in there for a called strike, and the count is even at 1-1. One and one. U.S. will play Italy in the, their first game of the World Games this coming weekend. Pitch is driven in the gap. Center fielder coming over. Harada with a nice catch that probably saved a run. Questions, Questions that we kept throwing at her, and she's been great to work with and given us everything and more that we need. So it's an honor and pleasure to be here. First pitch is a strike. Well, she was put in charge of the weather. <laughs> yeah, and that's right. You know, kept the, the lightning was our only little little hiccup here on the day, so uh, has done a nice job controlling things. We'll let that one slide. <laughs> Pitch is high. One and one. The 
1-1 pitch, hit in the air to left center field. Lorenz under it in the gap, and she's got it. Amanda is there for the easy catch for out number one. Lorenz, the first baseman in our first game earlier today, and now out and left and moving well over to her left to make the catch. First pitch shows bunt and uh, takes it for ball one. Back to the top of the order in Ishikawa. Struck out swinging her first time up. And the next one is on the outside corner for a call strike, one and one. One thing with just 15 players on a roster, the flexibility of a team and the versatility has to be really big in international play, and the U.S. has shown that here today. Yeah, absolutely, especially, you know, game two, game three on the, the schedule for the day. You play back-to-backs in this heat. You certainly want to have some flexibility, folks that can play in multiple positions so you can mix things up. Get some folks some rest if you need to. A ball at two strikes now. Alley's ready. Rocks and fires. Ground ball to first. And Taylor Pleasance eats it up. Steps on the bag for out number two. Solid defense is... Scooped up there by Pleasance and two away. Bases empty and a good opportunity here for Carter to get out of this inning. Give those bats another opportunity. Yuka Ichiguchi walked in the first. Off-speed pitch is in there for a strike. The 0 1 pitch. That misses. 1 and 1. Japan's first game in the World Games, interestingly enough, will be against Australia. Next pitch misses. Well, they took care of business against Australia earlier this afternoon and. Uh, like we talked about, it's a young Australia squad. Just as a good learning experience for them, this go around. And uh, Japan certainly looked the part as the number two team in the world. 2-1 pitch is in there for a called strike, 2-2. Two and two. Alley reaches down and gets a little rosin, a little dirt. Back ready to go now. 2-2 two -two pitch. A little high. That runs the count full. Two down, nobody on in the top of the third with Team USA leading one to nothing. The payoff pitch on the way. Swing and a miss. She struck her out. The 0-1 pitch. In there for a called strike, 0-2. Miwa has struggled in the first two innings, but to her credit, she's done great damage control. The 0-2, really late on that one and stayed alive, though. The 
2 pitch. Just missed outside, 1 and 2. The 1 2 ripped foul right into the netting in front of her dugout. Count stays one and two. We do it again. There's a base hit into right field. Boy, that's a nice job by Amanda. She just kind of reached up. It probably might have been up out of the strike zone, but too close to take, and she sort of tomahawked it. Doing what you got to do there, just put the bat on the ball and let that infield bounce and, and move it for you. And good opportunity to get that leadoff runner aboard here and now see what Flippin can do. The U.S. has had the leadoff runner on uh, all three innings. And the pitch to Hannah is in there for a called strike. She walked in the first inning. Lorenz gets her lead at first as the pitch is thrown. One and one. Hannah looking into the dugout to get the sign. The one one misses two and one. Two one on the way. Ground ball to third to second for one to first for the double play. Five, four, three. Really nice double play there. The five, four, three, like you mentioned, and again, just putting it in play, let that infield bounce, but right to the defense that time, and a good job just to turn that thing. Really smooth double play and clean the bases off. Ichiguchi really turned it well because the runner was right on top of her. Yeah. Here's Charla Eccles. Pitches high, 1-0. Team Japan struggled offensively early in the Australia game, but then exploded, so keep that in the back of your mind. Pitches downstairs. 2-0. and Two old pitch misses three and zero. Oh. They went six up and six down against the Aussies and then turned it on. Charla ahead in the count three and zero oh, three zero oh pitch. Took a little off that to get it over three and one. Three one from Miwa, fouled back to the screen, and that runs the count full three and two. The youngster out of Noonan, Georgia, stands back in there, and the payoff pitch, line drive, scooped off the glove of the shortstop, can't make the play, and Charla is safe. A good job to leg that one out and not give up on it. You hustle to first, and Kudo just could not get that one out of the glove cleanly, bobbled it there, and with the hustle of Eccles, enough time for her to get to first. So let's see if the U.S. can mount a two out rally here. Kenzie Hansen. We 
pitched on a fielder's choice in that first inning. The pitch in there for a called strike. Japan's bullpen is busy. Pitch misses outside. One ball, one strike. Two down, runner at first. The 1-1, one, one, driven to right. It's over the head, off of the fence. Echoes is being held at third. And in its second is Kenzie Hansen with a two-out double. Good piece of hitting there with two away. Taking that 1-1 one, one and just going the opposite way. Boy, just misses a home run. That thing just about a foot short of getting over the fence. And... Tim Walton again throwing the stop sign up there at third. Got second and third here with two away. If you're the U.S., you really want to cash in here. Deja Molopola. Yeah, if you keep wasting opportunities early, it gives you a bad feeling. Let's see if Deja can take care of that bad feeling. Pitch low and inside. Good job by Kilishi to... Keep it in front of her. Deja ahead in the count, 1-0. 1-0 and oh. oh pitch. Line drive foul, though. Got way out in front of it. 1-1. One and one. We're in the bottom of the third. Team USA got a run in the first, and that's it. One nothing. Two outs now, second and third. 1-1 one, one count. Malapola swing and a miss. She went up and in on her that time and blew it by her. A ball in two strikes. The one-two pitch just missed outside. Two and two. U.S. has had three hits in the inning, but haven't scored because of the double play. The two-two swing and a miss struck her out. So the U.S. strands a couple. Baremo fires, and it's a little high for ball one. Three, four, and five, good, good spot in the lineup. You have to start out here if you're Faremo, just got to come out throwing strikes and be ready to go. Next one is a little high, so she's thrown the first two out of the strike zone. She's got the long ponytail. Pitches in there for a strike, two and one. Her hometown is Oceanside, California. That pitch is in there, so she's battled back nicely to even the count at two and two. Two balls, two strikes, 2-2 two -two pitch. Swing and a miss. She struck her out, so a nice comeback by Megan. Good comeback there on the 2-2. Two -two. Well, just got her to chase. Beautiful pitch, beautiful location. Executed really well. Good first out. Here's Fujita. Struck out looking her first time up. Pitch is high, 1-0. and oh. I don't know exactly where Oceanside, California is, but... The 1-0 pitch on the way is in there for a strike. Sounds but nice. It does, but I, with my different sense of humor, I'd like to think 
that the people who founded that town, it was nowhere near the ocean. Yeah. They just said, Oceanside, California, this will really mess them up. Where's the ocean? We we'll get people to here. move here. Yeah. They're like, all right. 2-1. Two, 2-1 one. Two, one pitch. Swing and a miss. 2-2. Two and two. Fujita, the designated player in this game. The 2-2 two, two pitch. Backed her off the plate. Three and two. Feels like Greenland, Iceland, you know, mixing it up. That's right. Who came up with that? The three two misses outside. Ball four. So you get these little nuggets when you're in the triple header. That's right. <laughs> Gotta hang around to get the good stuff here in the three two. <laughs> Just outside a touch. So here's Kawabata. 0 for 1 in this game. The pitch is in there for a strike. Next pitch misses outside, one and one. So a tight one as you would expect between the number one and number two teams in the world. USA leading one nothing in the top of the fourth. That pitch misses. Two and one. The rivalry between the USA and Japan is such a unique rivalry in many ways. The 2-1 misses 3-1. First of all, its foundation is respect from both sides. And we have so many U.S. players that go to Japan and play and create bonds and, and relationships there. Yeah. 3-1 slapped in the left field for a base hit. And Japan's in business here. Well, that was one thing that was unique and neat to read about uh, last year, you know, with, with the Olympics is so many Americans that came back said the culture is so respectful and respect is, is so important to the Japanese people. And so natural respect between these two countries, I, I, th I think when you're both really good, it's easy to respect each other. And you have a rivalry, but it's in a respectful kind of way. Both of these teams know each other is really good and, and have an uh, appropriate dose of respect for that. And it certainly now has become a competitive rivalry. Yeah, yeah they respect each other, but they're one and two. And they, you know, yeah. you're a competitor. You want to be number one. You want to be the best in the world. So for Ramo in some hot water here, first and second, one down, clinging to a one nothing lead, and the pitch is high to Naito. She walked in the second. We start to hear some fireworks, we think, you for going <laughs> off in the distance. <laughs> Pitches in there for, no, missed, I'm sorry, two it up. And uh, Kinsey's going to go out and have a brief chat with Megan. You forget it is Fourth of July. You yeah. Kinda, yeah. It's, it's, it's not like a Sunday today. It, it, it does feel different, doesn't it? The 2-0 is in there for a called strike. Two one pitch, popped her up on the infield. That's a big out there as Taylor Pleasants grabs it in fair territory by the bag. That second out is huge here. She reaches. You, you've got a real mess on your hand in a one run game, but a pop up there, two out. Now you're one pitch away from getting out of this thing. 
Here's Nakagawa. Pop to the catcher, a great play by Hansen earlier in this game in foul territory. First pitch misses, 1-0. and oh. The 1-0 oh slapped foul back to the screen, 1-1. One and one. So Faremo working on her Houdini act here. Let's hope it's a crowd stopper. The pitch in there for a called strike. Miwa had hers back in the first. Perhaps a strike away from getting out of this now. The one-two pitch. Ground ball. Great play by Pleasance. Throws the second for the force. My goodness. Those games typically, um, you go back to the last 10 matchups here, Team USA and Japan, you know, U.S. has won seven of those, but six of those last 10 are one-run games. So you're, you're getting good on good here. You expect a tight game. 1-1 one, one popped up into left field, and in fair territory, Ishikawa will make the catch for out number one. Got that 1-1 one, one and just gets her chase a little bit underneath it. And a good pop up there defensively for Japan. Here's Michelle Moultrie. She went deep against Australia. Another one would be nice right here, Michelle. Pitches in there for a strike. The 0-1. Missed. 1-1. One and one. The 1-1 one, one popped up back to the screen. 1 and 2. Well, the softball world will be focused on Birmingham starting at the end of the week with the World Games and the World Championship. But their eye will be on the big prize. That's LA-28 trying to build up the momentum to get back into the Olympics. The 1-2 one, misses, 2-2. Two and two. And off to a good start, obviously. Uh, you know, the game continues to grow in popularity. Uh, Japan, all these other countries competing, getting their programs better. Everybody's trying to compete and, and be the best in the world. And uh, world, you know, world championships in Birmingham going to be a big part of that. And you want to, you know, we talked earlier, you don't want it to be a one-year addition. You want this to be a, a for permanent addition back into the Olympics. And uh, each country doing its part to get its program up to par and, and really make that happen. And there's a, there's a game plan in place to try to get that done. And like you said, I think so far they're off to a good start and uh, keep working on that. They've got a little while before the final decision for L.A. is made. The 2-2 two -two misses downstairs. They will not be in Paris in 24. And, look, I have nothing against break dancing, <laughs> but I'll just leave it there. <laughs> There's a ground ball to second. Fields throws, and Ichiguchi makes the play. Got her. And how awesome it'd be to get softball back for LA-28. Your U.S. team obviously going to be competitive in that sport, and to be on your home turf for the Olympics would be pretty special. Here's Janae Jefferson. Janae reached on a fielder's choice, hit a shot right back to the circle. And that pitch fouled back to the screen. She almost came out of her helmet that time. And some fireworks going off behind us here on Independence Day. And the 0 1. That missed. A little heat lighting off in the distance as well. Yeah. A little dry lightning out there, and 
far enough away where thankfully it's not affecting us. The 1-1 one, one pitches high as Janae ran up as if to try to slap it. 2-1. and one. Two one pitch is hammered. Trouble if it's fair. It's down for a base hit. And a really nice play by Nakagawa to hold Janae to a single, but a two out hit. That one hug in the line, just sneaking in fair and being tight to the line there. And a good job by Nakagawa to get there quickly. It held Janae at first. So a little two out single. Couldn't get extra bases out of it here, but opportunity to go back to the top of the order. Haley McClenney, she scored the game's only run after leading off the first with a single. She nearly hit one out in the game against Australia. Hit another line drive that was deep to the right fielder. The pitch is high for ball one. Haley rejoining the USA team after playing with the in the Athletes Unlimited AUX series. Fly ball right field. Got under it and not enough. And Nakagawa is there to get off here in the top of the fifth. Shows bunt and bunts it foul. So for Ramo, ahead of the count, 0-1, the pitch. Fly ball to right, shallow. Moultrie coming in and will make the grab for out number one. Just a little pop ball to, to right. And, you know, you think about, too, we're here in the fifth inning. New Japan getting down to now eight outs. That's not a lot of game left here, if you think about it, as this one gets sent up. A high pop-up into shallow center field, and Haley McClenney is there, and two quick outs. U.S. will certainly take it. She was jumping on the first pitch and sends this one to center. But each out now to a premium here in a one-run game, each, each at bat gets a little bit more important here. Does Japan press a little bit and, and try to make something happen, jumping on that first pitch there maybe? Back to the top of the order, and Ishikawa pitches in there for a called strike. 0 for 2. Pitches pop foul and out of play into the stands. And a fan makes the play on the bounce. They'll tell their friends, I caught a line drive. <laughs> Never touched the ground. <laughs> the pitch is high. One ball and two strikes. The lone hit by Japan was a one-out single. Following a walk in the fourth inning, ground ball to flip in the short throw to first, and she got her. You couldn't have an easier inning. One. The pitch in the dirt from Miwa. 1-0. and oh. The 1 0. Missed 2 0. I'm a little curious how Miwa does here in the fourth. Saw a lot of action in the Japan bullpen. Back there in the third, gave up three hits. Worked herself out of the jam. Did a nice job in the fourth to get out. There's still action in that bullpen. The pitch fly ball, right field, right fielder back. That ball is gone. Out of here. There's a little insurance. 
Another home run for Amanda Lorenz. Her teammates greet her at the plate, and the U.S. leads it two to nothing. One swing of the bat can change this game one way or another, and Lorenz, a great job just digging in here. Take a look, see what she sees. Boy, just hung that thing right in the middle, and she clobbered it. Been doing that for a long time. You leave something, you know, meat over the plate like that, she's going to clean it up. And a big hit here for the U.S. to get another run on the board, 2 nothing. That's her second home run of the day. She had one in the opening game against Australia. And now just a triple away from the cycle. There we go. Pitches inside to Hannah Flippin. It's amazing how different a 2 nothing game feels to one nothing. Yes. Got a little margin for error, not much, but you had zero, you know, before that. And, and you can feel the tenor in the ballpark change a little bit, too. 2-0 pitch. Ground ball to short. Convenient hop. Throw to first. And got her. Kudo with the nice hop. Took a Short bounce there at the front, kind of died off before it got to Kudo, but she fields it nicely, gets it over. Here's Sharla Eccles. <coughs> One for two in this game. And that pitch is in there for a called strike. A sack fly drove in the first run of the game. That pitch is high, one and one. And the next one is in there for a called strike. Charla stands deep in the batter's box. Swing and a miss, struck her out. Two down. See that late movement here by the catcher setting up inside, gets her to chase low and away. Here's Kenzie Hansen, the catcher. First pitch is inside for ball one. The 1-0 pulled way foul. And way out in front of that one, turned on it really quickly. One and one plate umpire getting a fresh supply of softballs. The one one pitch inside two and one. The 2-1 pitch, hammered, but way foul. Two and two. It's really been special for the city of Columbus and the fans here to, back in 2019 to 2019, to have the USA team return, and then here again three years later. Pitch just misses. And, and big tip of the hat to the city of Columbus for, for hosting and making this happen. It's been a world-class day and facilities in great shape and everybody's been incredibly accommodating and excited. 
3-2 is hit in the air to medium uh, center field. And uh, the catch is made for out number three. First pitch is in there for a called strike. The 0 1, strike two, so Megan jumps out in front 0 and 2. 2, 3, and 4 here in the lineup as well. So, big part of the lineup. You get through this unscathed. You probably like where you're sitting when you head to the seventh. Ground ball to Jefferson at second. Janae Fields throws and got her. And that 0 2 there. It's good sign on defense. ABC softball there. Here's Dodoka Harada, 0 for 2. And the first pitch misses, 1 and 0. Everybody but Kawabata is 0 for something. Yep. Swing and a miss. Ramo peers in, rocks and fires, swing and a miss. Had her way out in front of that one. One ball, two strikes. The one-two pitch. Tried to check her swing. They checked with the first base umpire. He says no swing. Two and two. Baramo stares in, delivers, swing at a miss, struck her out. Well, just gives her to chase there, a little, little heat on that one. Baramo has been very impressive tonight. Fujita takes the first pitch strike. Stranded a pair in the fourth in her debut inning, but really clean in the fifth and looking very clean here so far in the sixth. In the groove now with a called strike, 0-2. Quickly goes back to work. And the 0-2 pitch just missed. What a two. Grabs a little dirt in the back of the circle. Back ready to go now. The one-two pitch. Called strike three on the outside corner. A one-two. First pitch. Tried to check her swing. Couldn't do it. Fouled it away. She played in the first Athletes Unlimited AUX series this year. 300 hitter, hit two home runs, drove in seven runs. The 0-1 uh, downstairs, 1-1. One one. That's another great opportunity for softball players with the that new series going on. Sort Absolutely. Of last year, I guess. The 1-1 one, one is a little high. Being math challenged, it's a little difficult for me to keep up with. There's a whole lot going on and with extra points and individual points for players. And 2-1 is hammered to center field, and that ball is out of here. It's gone. Gwen Sebeckis touches it off. The high five from the coach at third. Her teammates are out to greet her. And there's another insurance run. 3-0 Team USA. Taking advantage of that pinch hit opportunity. That 2-1, she just clobbered that thing. And that thing just a dead center as well. 
No doubter there. Great piece of hitting there. And a 3 nothing lead now for the U.S. The U.S. has hit some long balls today. That thing might have been out in a, like a slow pitch softball field. My <laughs> goodness. She just hammered it. And another pinch hitter here for the U.S. Bailey Klingler will stand in. Bailey is one of the extra players to train with. The pitch is fouled into the stands. Look out. Everybody's okay. Washington product, of course, Zavakis, Oregon. Pac-12 conference mates for now. Pitches in there for a strike. Of course, Bailey getting to play for her head coach. The 0-2. Back to the screen. The 0-2 pitch, swing and a miss. Climb the ladder, Otter, with that one. Settling in, got her to chase that one. The rise coming up and in. Chase in after that one. Another pinch hitter, Bubba Nichols, who started the first game for the U.S. today. Well, the Eagles of Team USA have been flying high, and uh, the softballs off the bat have been flying high as well here today. Been on an impressive power display. And there's another one that's off the end of the bat into center field. Narada makes the grab. <laughs> Bring up Janae Jefferson. Three straight pinch hitters here in the sixth for the U.S. Fouled back to the screen. Janae had an infield single her last time up. Hit into a fielder's choice the first time. The catcher, Kalishi, goes out to have a chat with Katsumata. And they'll bring the entire infield in around her. U.S. leads it 3 nothing. bottom of the sixth. Japan will have one more crack at it. Plate umpire walks out to break up the meeting. Breaks up briefly, and then, a, then another one starts with Kalishi, and she comes back now. Owen one on Janae. The 0 1 pitch. Slapped it over the head of the third baseman into left field for a base hit. Nicely done, Janae Jefferson. Continuing the fireworks. You can hear shooting off in the distance and fireworks of her own here and just going to opposite field, slapping at that thing and the power to drive that thing out into the outfield. A little two-out rally here and top of the order. Haley McClenney. First pitch in there for a strike. Haley led off the first with a single. 
eventually came in to score on the sacrifice fly. That one nothing stood up there for a long time until the fifth inning. Pitches downstairs. It's a ball and a strike. Certainly could have been worse. Nine hits. U.S. has left some runs on the base path. The 1-1 one -one is upstairs, 2-1. The 2-1 pitch on the way. High and tight, 3-1. The 3-1 pitch is downstairs for ball four. Good job by Haley there. So first and second and two out. Take it there as Lorenz a triple shy of the cycle here, double single, home run. All right, Amanda, put one down in the corner. Let it rattle around a little bit. Pitch is high. Double in the first, single in the third, home run in the fifth. The 1-0. Misses inside, 2-0. Katsumata, the right-hander, rocks and fires, and that misses, 3-0. and oh. Another bad one would load the bases for Hannah Flippin, and here comes Team Japan's coach out of the dugout. Gathers the entire team, including the outfielders, around her. That's a full circle out there. Right it is. Now. <laughs> it is. Having a having a pretty animated chat, just talking about maybe trying to finish here. Yeah. Been a struggle here in this inning for Katsumata. Gave off the leadoff home run, two com two quick outs after that, but then single walk and. Well behind on Lorenz here, 3-0. That was one of those one-sided conversations right there, wasn't yeah, it? a lot of listening yes. by, the, by the staff out on the field. <laughs> a lot of nodding of the heads. So 3-0 to a dangerous hitter. The 3-0 pitch. In there for a strike. Those chats always seem to bring a quick <laughs> strike. Said, throw a strike. <laughs> Thanks. And she did. The 3-1, though, misses, and the bases are loaded with two down. With the run rule here, a home run would end the game, but... Two away and flipping an opportunity to get her first hit of the game. She's walked, hit into a double play, and grounded to short. And the first pitch is in there for a strike. Well, that would be a great way to end uh, this game on Independence Day with a walk-off Grand Slam run rule win. Some fireworks for sure. The pitch is high. It's one and one. Been a real productive day here for the U.S. Taking care of business earlier against Australia. 
The 1-1, one, one, high and tight, 2-1. and one. Really good tune-up contest here. Got to be impressed with your pitching staff and what you've been able to do to hold this Japan offense to one hit here so far. Two balls and a strike. The 2-1 two pitch fouled away. It's 2-2 two and two and into the stands just out of the reach of a fan up top. Two balls, two strikes. Yeah, I would think that the U.S. staff would be pleased with what's happened here today. Yeah. yeah. And uh, the build up to Birmingham. Got a few more opportunities here over the next couple of days as well as you could travel up the road to Oxford. The 2 2 pitch inside, 3 and 2. So the U.S. has scored a run with Savekas' home run. Now they've got the bases loaded with two down, leading 3 nothing in the bottom of the sixth. And the pitch fouled away. So we'll do it again. She puts it in play. The merry-go-round will be off and running here. Katsumata, deep breath. The 3 2 pitch again fouled back to the screen. Good battle. Yeah, good job by Hannah. Hannah, I'm old. It's past my bedtime. <laughs> Let's end it right here. Please. Early travel day for both these teams. In the morning. The 3-2 pitch. Fly ball to left field. And the left fielder is under it. Ishikawa grabs it for. Spent some time in the hills of Tennessee. The first pitch is high for ball one. Her numbers that she put up at Tennessee, they were like video game numbers. So good. The 1 0 pitch in there for a called strike. She's an amazing athlete. She's 36 years old. And still bringing it. Yeah. Pitch is high. You know, she's been asked a couple of times if, you know, the Olympics take softball in again in 28. Are you, you going to try to hang around and, and do it again? Pitches fouled away, and she says, well, I'm, you know, nothing's off the table. I'm not going to rule it out. And just that, you know, athletes, you know, you look at Tom Brady, you look at other people in uh, baseball and football that uh, in their early 40s are productive. So I would not bet against her. The nutrition, the training, everything is so good now, and we know so much more about the human body, how to – Increase longevity and performance, and yeah, I mean Tom Brady's forty-five years old, and a two great one, player. Two on is slapped to Jefferson, throws the first, and one down. The U.S. two outs away from beating Japan. Big bounce there off that ground ball, and Jefferson in the perfect position to get it on the rebound. You got a pinch hitter. Yui Sakamoto will be the pinch hitter for Team Japan. Monica swing and a miss. She's got that distinctive wind up too, doesn't yep. she? It's like bad things are coming. Get ready. Goes way down the ball, down by, down by the ankles yeah. before she comes back up with it. Out in front, 0 and 2. The 0 2 pitch popped her up, but it will not stay in play. It's going to be on top of the roof. 
count stays 0 and 2. There was a great YouTube video that uh, featured Monica and some of her Japanese teammates. I don't know if you've seen that, no. but that's it's delight. You should look that up. It's uh, it's really fun. If you fans haven't seen it, just kind of look for that on YouTube and having fun together. She's trying to learn Japanese. I guess it was early on. The pitch misses. Two and two. And one of her teammates said, uh, when we practice, please don't hit me. <laughs> <laughs> but she said, I'll try not to. But 2-2 two, two is outside, 3-2. and two. Well, this has been a lot of fun here, uh, Caleb and uh, Luciano. It's been great working with you. And, uh, Absolutely. Yeah, it's Same. Been, yeah, it's been fun and a great way to spend the 4th of July. I've enjoyed it. It's uh, very patriotic to get to watch the U.S. team yeah. compete on the 4th. Payoff pitch on the way. There's a soft liner caught by Janae Jefferson at second. Two down. Set for another pinch hitter here is just a little pop there to Jefferson. Ulala Fujimoto, the pinch hitter for Team Japan and the final hope in this exhibition game. Monica talking it over with Hannah Flippen and Sharla Eccles on the left side. Lefty against lefty. And the pitch misses. Little difference in the height <laughs> of these two <laughs> lefties. The 1 0. That misses. 2 0. But it'll be fun to watch the World Games to see if the U.S. and Japan are on another collision course in the finals of a World Championship or the Olympics. They've played in the finals of the last seven World Championships and the last two Olympics. Count is 2-0. and oh. And the 2-0 -oh pitch inside, 3-0. and oh. Monica rocks and fires. That's in there for a called strike. Sounded like a strike. Had a good pop to it. 3-1, swing and a miss. 3-2, and two. so Monica Abbott battles back to run the count full. Team USA, perhaps a strike away and one out away from beating Team Japan. The 3-2 fouled off, back to the screen. Staying alive there. Fujimoto with the Bee Gees on her mind. <laughs> or something like that. The payoff pitch popped up. This could do it. Foul territory. Charla Eccles is under it. And Team USA wins. Team USA defeats Team Japan 3 to nothing. Get a little light show here in celebration. 